is going to join us next and we're going to talk about these beautiful just back in stock honeymoon hibiscus plants. These are the four in one better together hibiscus. Over 20,000 of these sold since they debuted. These are very, very popular and these are a hardy hibiscus, which means you can keep them in a pot. You can keep them in the ground, whatever you want to do, and they are going to do fine over the winter. So four in one means just what it says, right? Court, I'm getting all four yes. colors in one plant. That's right. That's what I like about them. You're digging one hole and you're getting four plants. So I love it's, it. it. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. It's called the Honeymoon Series. The, you know, the breeders get to name the series and what the, that they develop. And I imagine that the breeder in the United, uh, United Kingdom named these honeymoon hibiscus because he probably saw the tropical hibiscus on the on his honeymoon. Uh -huh. But these are not the tropical, Karen, uh, Carolyn. These are winter hardy, mm -hmm. never say die perennials. They will take temperatures down to minus 30 degrees and they'll grow anywhere from Minnesota all the way down to Miami. And it's four pieces in one container, just like you're holding there mm -hmm. in a half gallon Hot. Look how big they are already. So, Court, I, yes. I have to share something funny. So I was talking right. to Eric before the show, and uh -huh. I was telling him that I, a couple of years ago, I bought hibiscus. I don't think it was this variety, but I bought some perennial hibiscus. And I had okay. them in pots. You know, we, here in Pennsylvania, it gets very cold Great in the winter. Pot. So I had them yeah. in these big pots on either side of my garage door, and then I planted two more in my mulch bed across from the driveway. And okay. when it, you know, then, of course, they, they went dormant. But as the spring came back and other things were starting to bloom and come back, I kept looking in these pots and they were just sticks. And I thought, oh man, I killed them. I should have brought them in the garage or something. I shouldn't have left them sitting out in that pot all winter. Uh -huh. And, and uh -huh. Eric started laughing. He goes, oh my gosh, did they finally grow? And I said, yes, they're gorgeous. They, you know, right after I thought they were dead, like a week later, here comes all these leaves and tons of flowers. And Eric laughed well, and he said, he said, so many customers call and yeah. say, We're, call Roberta's and say, I think I killed my hibiscus. And, and okay. then you, you guys always say, wait two more weeks wait. and my then call me back. June <laughs> my, all right, everybody, hello. My birthday is June 17th <laughs> and I time the hibiscus <laughs> to my birthday every year because a lot of people will expect him to start coming up in May, you know, with your uh, peonies or something. No, they take a little bit longer. Yeah. But you get a good long season of flowers. Oh, yeah. And if we can see the images, I'd love to tell you the qualities and the benefits of the Honeymoon Series okay. because they're unlike any other winter hardy hibiscus. These are compact. They're super fast with about 25% more flowers because they bloom 25% quicker. Look at all the buds and the size of flowers. Look at the size of these They're plants. They're ginormous, That's about I know. how big they grow. About They're huge. About three feet tall mm -hmm. and about three feet wide. Uh -huh. They're not like uh, the seven foot tall Yes, uh, and they don't and they don't tip over and lay on the ground. But Court, no. the, the shrub is compact, but the flowers are huge. Exactly, Carolyn. I'm glad you mentioned that. The flowers are huge, up to 10 inches apart. And you're going to get the white, which is right in the center of your TV screen now with that red bullseye that the hummingbirds are going to find and the bumblebees and all the pollinators. It's a, just a lovely one. You're going to get the honeymoon pink, which looks like a swirl of ice cream with uh, raspberry sauce. And then you get my favorite and my niece's favorite, Ani, that bright, happy pink. And then you get the rich, sultry red that uh, Derek is sitting next to with big smiles. And look, a picture like that, you're going to be putting on Instagram. You're going to be posting wherever you like to do your posts. And it's going to be the center of attention. I was thinking today of Antonella uh, Nestor. And uh, hi, Antoinette, if you're watching, but she just said, Cord, this is my favorite flower. It's just happiness in the containers yeah. or in the ground. She just loved watching her. And, and, I just, just come back And shout year. out to Antoinette, and she's doing great, hey, everybody, and, and follow her on Facebook and on her YouTube. Um, I just want you to know, again, to be clear, uh, yes. you're getting all four. They're all in one plant. Yes. So you're going to get one pot, like what I'm holding, and all four of those colors come out of this pot. So I want you to see this one, if we can come back. Look at all the buds. 
already happening. This is what's going to come out of your shipping box. Here's a bud, there's a bud, there's another one. This You're one right. right here, look at this one, is already about to burst out into a flower. So this yeah, is ready yeah. to go. This is not a little baby that you're going to be waiting, uh, you know, for a couple of summers to see anything happening. Court, how big is this going to get this summer, and how many flowers can I expect? So with the honeymoon series, uh, it's going to grow about three and a half feet tall by three feet wide, and that's why they're great for planting in rows along the front of your house, planting in uh, uh, you, your mailbox, because other ones would grow up seven yes. feet tall, and you couldn't plant them in front of your windows. Right. You couldn't plant them in front of your mailboxes. Mm -hmm. You could plant these in containers. You don't bring these in, unlike the tropical hibiscus, you have to bring in and keep warm. Like you said, Carolyn, they come back anywhere in the country down to minus 30 degrees below zero. These are brand, relatively brand new, developed in 2016 in the UK. And I got to tell you, as far as I know, we're the only ones in the United States that sell these as potted plants. I have seen the red seeds online, but who wants to do that? Here I know. We put well, all four growing potted, rooted, yeah. healthy plants together in one pot and you uh you can have a look like this with the big big flowers but with all four colors in one container yeah look pick up several of these make a hedge like this i'm telling you if you have the most exquisite philip watson designed garden with ward winning roses this is the plant that your family and friends and children and grandkids are going to run to. Now this is the one that to, everyone will notice. To take pictures. I don't yes, care what's in your garden. garden this these. is what this is what they'll notice. And right to take yeah. pictures with. So yeah. uh, get more than one. Each one will have all four colors on it. So that's what I did. I bought four because they're flanking my garage. They're uh, yes. also in key places in my mulch bed along the driveway that has tons of other flowers in it. But you're right. This is what you notice, and they will start blooming a little bit later than some of your other plants. Uh, don't worry, because they also last longer. Court, the other thing I wanted they to mention longer. is um, I went around after Halloween, like the second week of November this past fall, and just took pictures of all the flowers that were still in my garden. I had some yes. roses. I had, of course, I had uh -huh. some mums, but I, I had some probably. of the I had some of these hibiscus. They were still blooming beyond Halloween. So don't so worry that they our customers say the same thing. They they might start a little bit later, not super late, but a little bit no, later, no. but they yeah. last a really long time. And boy, and then once they start, boy, they come up fast because they're only gonna grow about half the size as your regular hibiscus. So yeah. all that energy goes into producing right. flowers super, super early. So uh, buy so, several sets of these. It's the happiness in your yard. It's like a uh, you know, those beautiful summer vacations that we all remember, yeah. uh, tropical places, but they're not tropical. And, and they're they do, hot. they're not. And they do just as well in a pot as they do in the ground. So wherever yeah. you prefer, and don't worry, if you live someplace that gets cold in the winter, they're okay in the pot. You don't have to be yes. dragging them in. I mean, I, mine are in these great big heavy terracotta pots. I could not possibly lift them and carry them in my house. So no. I just left them outside. I wouldn't have room. And they came back just beautifully. So and put um, some, if you want some color around them, put some ice plants that are coming up yes. around them because they both like hot, full sun. Uh, they're super, super easy to grow. And I love the ease of, of a pot like this that has four plants because you're digging one hole one but hole. you're getting four plants. It's a, it's a big payoff. So yeah. uh, grab these. We have how many gone now, Dan? 2200 now ordered. These are very, wow. very popular. Sale price is under $25 and you get four payments of $6.20. And we just got these back in stock, so don't wait. They're going to be gone again. Oh, can I just peekaboo right here at my desert roses?